Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup routine, which has been a highly requested video of mine. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I do, how I get, you know, the look all set down in stone. Also, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for we're basically at almost 1K views on my last video, which is my what's on my iPhone, which you should check it out right here. But just to continue on with this video. We are gonna just basically get into it. Right now, I'm actually getting ready to go to a um, track breakfast. If you guys didn't know, um, I am on the track team. And um, I actually posted a video, a track vlog, which you guys should also definitely go check out. But we're just gonna go get into this makeup tutorial. So first, I start with my eyebrows, just basically filling them in, because I have really, like, I have eyebrows which are just really, really light. And I usually either dye them or something, but they're really, really, light right now so I just fill them in with this color right here now this is a drugstore product this is from I actually had a palette which was from Ulta but it ran out so and I didn't really want to go back to Ulta so I just went to DJ Maxx and I got it for like maybe $3.49 $3 or $4 nothing too expensive but we're just gonna fill it in really really nicely really really nicely just like that then we're gonna go in and um conceal them and i'm using the kiss cream foundation um it is a really nice it's like literally almost gone i saw this tiktok and it was like um don't ever question my loyalty and then they show like makeup products that like you've been using to like the end of it end of the grave so we just use that flat end brush. We're gonna go under right here. So I'm gonna do this in front of my mirror. But you're just gonna go under like that. And just get a really nice cut crease right there. It's basically what you're gonna do. Same for the other side. Right, so really nice cut crease. And then just drag this down. Just drag it just a little bit. And then what I do is I take this and I just blend that in. Real nice. Now since today I'm doing a makeup tutorial, I'm gonna also um, do a little bit of Concealing on the top. I usually don't conceal on the top for school days, but I'll conceal on the top for you guys Which is the same. You just want to start here and go out Just like that Drag it to the top. Don't worry about the shape of your eyebrow yet We will work into that towards The end Okay, so don't worry about the shape. They look a little bit squaggly, but The purpose is to just get that Conceal we will fill in later. So right after That also guys don't worry about my top. It's like literally I had to tie it in the back because it's so loose But I just wanted something simple to do because I just woke up So then we're gonna go in with my foundation. This is a fit me Maybelline foundation in the shade 360 uh, Basically mocha and this is matte plus poreless So we're gonna go in with that this is going to go all over the face. I just do that and then drag it down, of course the forehead, of course here, of course here, of course here, right? And then, ugh, my braids are like getting in the way. Then, go on with the brush. This brush is from Sephora. Any brush that has this silver thing is from Sephora. The rest are like from Ross or something. But we're just gonna basically go in and just do a nice, cute blend. I'm also like kind of on time, like kind of trying to make sure I get everything done real nice and quick. My makeup usually takes only like about maybe an hour at most, depending on how slow I wanna go, etc. Okay, really nice. So now we're all basically one shade 
is the cool. Again, don't worry about the eyebrows. I go to those right, right at the end, and you will see when that comes to play because they look really, again, I said scoply. So, after that, I'm basically gonna just do some concealing. I'm gonna conceal with this concealer. I don't even know what it is because the wrapper's like all gone. But that's what we're gonna conceal with. It's a lighter shade than my, um, than my skin tone, and that is what I want. So, we are just gonna drag this down, drag this down. You guys can see I'm basically just dragging it down, spreading it from the inner to the outer, back again to this brush. And this is what's basically gonna blend throughout the entire under eye. Cause I like to have lighter on the um, inside, but kind of regular on the rest of the face. But this is gonna be flash proof. Cause I know sometimes, especially for people that like a little bit darker or melanated, um, sometimes the flash can get you looking like a ghost. But I promise the way I usually do my makeup, it is flash proof, which will mean it's gonna look good even through the flash. So now that we have that fully concealed, real nice, we're gonna go even with a lighter shade, which is this TLB um, Quick Conceal um, in the shade Honey 3021. And it's fast, easy to use, convenient makeup. And this one, you're gonna add a splash. When I say a splash, y'all, I mean a splash. Just a splash. And then right here, just to uplift my eyes a bit. Just to uplift them. Now, if you guys can tell, my face, I usually do really good makeup. Well, I hope I do look like I do really good makeup. But um, it's all usually mostly drugstore product. And I can definitely go out my way to you know spend a little few bands on some makeup. But I also like to just do um, drugstore makeup products to show that, you know, sometimes it's okay. It's okay to use drugstore products. Um, but I have been asked about my makeup routine for the longest. And I have been caught blocking. I won't lie. I have been caught blocking. But I'm here to, to show y'all. But I do. Okay. So now we're fully, fully concealed. Next is actually gonna be blush, and I'll show you why in a second. So the cover is not on here, but this is MAC blush, and this is in the shade Raisin Matte Powder Blush. So, y'all, this one, this blush is so good. So, 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 so good. Love it, love it, love it. Now, why am I applying blush? Because I am about to matte my entire face in a hot second. And I'm going to show you guys how now. Look at how nice that color is. Really, really nice pigment. You can get that at MAC, or you can get that at, I mean, literally anywhere, I think. But I think MAC. I got it at Macy's, I believe. That's it. See, so yeah, there we go with the blush. Let's add some on the other side. Um. Oh, I don't know if I want to cut anything out of this YouTube video because honestly, it's so quick and it's so simple and so cute. There we go. So next, we are going to map the entire uh, face with this Banana Powder Dreams. It's called Banana Dreams Loose Powder and this is in the shade, I don't even know, it doesn't say the shade, but this is, this is the, this is the product. Um, love it. It actually smells a little bit like banana. It's super, super, super good and super duper light, but it still gets that matte. Like, I have gone to practice in this makeup and still come with a nice matte face. So you're gonna take it and you're just gonna basically go throughout just like that. I know a lot of people do um, setting differently. I know some people like to use a beauty sponge, which I actually have one that I got this a cute new one but i know a lot of people like to do that i know some people have their own way of doing it i just like to personally do it like this i don't need it too matted i just need it a little just a little bit and i'm also doing the lids at the same time because um, i'm about to put eyeshadow on in a second so yeah so now that your face is basically all matted 
really nice in that face. I need to do my forehead too, just a little bit though. I don't do too much on my forehead. And I just tapped it a little bit, but I don't do, oh, see? I don't do too much on my forehead, because that happens, but it's okay. I don't usually wipe that off. Again, trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. Please, trust the process. So now we're gonna do eyeshadow. Um, I'll be going in this palette. This is a Revolution palette. Um, this one's from TJ Maxx, pretty good. We're gonna mix shades. So we're gonna mix this one with this one and this one. And another reason why I kind of let my face the way I do, I have an oily face, like a naturally oily face. Going throughout the school day, my face can <laughs> do tricks and flips into a whole bunch of different types of like oiliness and I'm not a fan. So, and now that's your face, I'm gonna make sure it's just a little bit a little bit okay now we have that okay now we're gonna go in with eyeliner as well so I use a uh, covergirl perfect point plus liquid liner this is the shade very 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 black so we're just gonna do this off my camera because I can't like I can't see but maybe if I you guys see me do it on this side, you'll see what I'm doing, but. Okay. I hope that like makes sense. <laughs> So to some extent they're like the same, the same length on each side. I hope that helped, cause I'm trying to get you through these straight. Okay. So the eyeliner, I just like how it kind of like looks my face. <sighs> I haven't really to brag about this. Like, if there's one thing I can ever brag about, a girl like me can brag about, is my eyelash collection. It is like my mascara collection. It's insane. Hold on y'all, you can fall into this. So many, I have used everything. And this is like, this isn't just it. Like, this is just the bare minimum. I, because I don't do lashes, guys. So I have resulted to mascara, but let me show you what we're gonna use today. We're not gonna use, we're gonna use the Air Volume Mega Mascara. This one, really good. This is Essence, really nice. Also, this Milani, love it too. It's a really, really, really nice comb. Uh, Lash Paradise, you guys already know. And I also have the Sky High as well. And then we're gonna use the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. This one's really good. Um, so let's just go in. Let me see if I can do it on here. I really can't, not gonna lie. So first, here, we're gonna go back again to my hair. So I like to get really in there first, as a first swoop. And get in, and go out again. Right? And then go in, out. So, we've done, this is our first layer of mascara. Now, we're not done yet. 
I told you guys I would come back to my eyebrows and I meant that. We're at 16 minutes on this video. We'll see if we can cut it down. So we're basically going to fill in, but now to find the shape that I want. And then fill in towards the middle. Fill in towards the middle. Hold on, y'all. Fill in towards the middle, then fill outwards as well. It might be, I can conceal that through, but um, just like that. And then, and then get a beauty blender. I'll just use my new one and kind of dab it so it kind of, what's the word, it kind of um, blends going outwards. So my eyebrows are like sort of kind of done. This is just the like, this is a cute little regular schnickler. Now highlighter, of course. And we will be using the Milani shade highlighter. This is in 140. Really cute. I'm also gonna do something else that I'll show you guys that I did, but we'll get there. So highlight, highlight. Highlight really is cute. Really nice and cute. Then, if y'all know me, I am all about inner corner. I'm all about the inner corner. All about the inner corner. go through with the blush one more time because I feel like it is a little too tall which it's okay sometimes it's gonna be a little bit tall but just brightening it up sometimes it's cute just brighten it up see so nice so cute and then I'll come sometimes in back again with this brush because it's so matte so I just want to like and then also bend your neck out y'all not forget we want to look all in unison but yeah so then see see y'all it's looking good it is looking really good i need a time check we are at 8 825 see and then now we're gonna go in Hold on, i'm gonna put some masking on because my lips are like slowly getting checked I don't do always lip gloss, I'll do like chapstick. Mmm, progressing. Going back with these. Now, I have a eyelash curler, but I don't use it. Cause I'm just like, I don't know if it, I don't think it works for me. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna go back here to this again. And we're gonna do our eyelashes. So now we're gonna go with this sky eye, go in. And up so I'm swooping in rolling a bit rolling a bit and up see do you see the difference y'all I hope you guys see the difference between both eyes so you're gonna go just let me add some of this up campness. Okay. I'm gonna go in, roll a bit, and roll a bit, and then up. Okay. Keep see. Then again with this, sometimes I have to do all this. I could, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Doing my left side is super hard compared to my right. It's cause 
it's not on the best side, but it's okay. You can even see. Let me show you. You can see this lid is the more messed up one compared to that one because it's just, you know. But yeah, that is it for my makeup routine. It's really simple. And we're at 21 minutes right now, unedited. Um, it only took 21 minutes, and now I'm just cleaning up a little bit. But this is basically the final glam look, I guess. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. Um, but yeah, this is my makeup routine, and I hope you guys love it. Stay tuned for next week's video. I have started dropping literally every single Saturday because Saturday is just my day to drop. I just feel like I love Saturdays to drop. So Saturdays have been my day. So stay tuned till next week's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> stay tuned for next week's Saturday's YouTube video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys so, so much. Mm.